This is Twit. So, uh, Marcus Hutchins is free. Free at last. Um, it was two years ago, this, this coming DEF CON, uh, after the annual 2017 DEF CON Security Conference, as Marcus was, I guess he was, to, to, he described himself as still sort of suffering. He was hungover and intoxicated from partying the night before. He was walking through the Las Vegas yeah, that's, airport. That's when they get you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have your guard down. Yep. Uh, preparing to return home to the UK that he was nabbed by uh, law enforcement. Uh, and of course, he had been for many years a reformed gray or black hat, I guess. Um, I don't think he ever actively participated in in malicious hacking, but he did write some, you know, in his in his youth uh, as as an adolescent, he wrote some malware. Um, anyway, he was nabbed uh, and held on charges of computer hacking, fraud, and abuse. Uh, it wasn't long before he was released on bail from jail, but. He was uh, uh, he had I think he had an ank a, 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 an ankle uh, tracker, so he was working with attorneys, and we've talked about him several times over the last couple of years as his case has moved through the legal system, um, and he's been working with his defense team and appearing at various legal hearings from time to time. Um, we know that he had outgrown that those earlier, uh, you know, his sort of sketchy adolescence uh, where he was d doing some things that were, you know, not on the up and up. A and let us not forget that what initially brought Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak together was their interest in what, what was known as blue boxing, which were these – little boxes which generated different sets of tones than the normal touch tone tones, which were used to sidestep the long distance uh, telephone billing that the United, that, that, that the U S telephone system used for making free long distance phone calls. So, you know, even our contemporary tech heroes uh, were, you know, not always on the up and up. Anyway, shortly before his arrest, he was studying, that is Marcus, was studying the alarming emergence and rapid propagation of the incredibly prolific and dangerous WannaCry internet worm. And in his research, he serendipitously halted its progress, uh, and we've talked about this many times, by by looking inside the code, seeing that there was a, a kind of an odd DNS query that the worm was making, he went when he looked up what the that the that what the DNS domain was that it was querying, he found it was unregistered. He thought, okay, that's weird. I wonder what this what it's doing with that DNS address. So he registered it. And in the process of it no longer being unregistered, just that act halted the worm's propagation. It And we never really understood in detail, like we never had a, a, a clear understanding of why. It's believed that it that was a kill switch, which Marcus, as I said, serendipitously set in order to cause the worm to stop propagating. And it turns out that this was taken into account. U.S. District Judge Joseph Peter uh, Statmuller said that the malware Hutchins helped stop was much more damaging than the two programs he created and thus sentenced him only to time served with a year of supervised release. So Marcus is free to return to the UK. Um, he tweeted on July 26th, which was uh, last Friday. 
he tweeted, first, heading into court now, no matter what happens, I love y'all. And then a short time later, he tweeted, sentenced to time served, exclamation port, point, incredibly thankful for the understanding and leniency of the judge, the wonderful character letter you all sent, and everyone who helped me through the past two years, both financially and emotionally. That was at 11.25 a.m. last Friday. So uh, he's free to return to the U.K. U.S. authorities still need to decide whether he's now barred from returning to the U.S., due to his criminal record, unquote. And of course, in my opinion, barring him would be really dumb. But on the other hand, we did say U.S. authorities. So, you know, we'll see what happens. So that's good news, a nice outcome. And it would be nice if he were free to return. You know, he his presentation at, at, at Black Hat uh, or DEFCON was about what he had just done with WannaCry. And so after, you know, demonstrating he, he was, I mean, he had been doing other, you know, white hat hacking things. He was, you know, uh, uh, his, his, as we know, his Twitter handle was, was malware tech blog. Uh, and, and so, you know, he was, he was blogging about, you know, how to stop this stuff now. And, uh, anyway, so the, you know, this was the right outcome and, uh, it would be nice if we let him come back to, to future black hat and DEF CON presentations. 